Hi friends, welcome to Firangi Files. Today I am with Arun and he has uh, almost 15 years of work experience in cyber security. Now this video is specifically for those people who want to make career in cyber security. This is not dedicated to Germany only. It's, it's for uh, a regular cyber security career. So we will talk about multiple questions like how a fresher can get into cyber security or uh, uh, some professionals, let's say finance guys or HR guys, how they can switch over to cyber security. I'll be taking uh, exactly 10 questions and um, uh, we will talk on these 10 questions with Arun. So uh, Arun, uh, I would like to request you to give your introduction first before we start our, our interaction. I am Arun. I'm basically from India, from Bangalore. I have been working in uh, IT for uh, more than 15 years now. Most uh, likely I've been working 15, in... 15, uh, 1, 5, eh? not 5, 0. Yes, 15 uh, 1, 5, yeah, <laughs> 15 <years. laughs> Just joking. Yeah. So 15 years. So most likely in my whole experience, I worked in um, uh, multiple verticals of uh, the cyber security. You know, I spent um, most of my time in security operations and engineering teams, like, uh, you know, the security operation centers, uh, the computer incident response teams, and other, you know, uh, the the vulnerability management, threat hunting, malware analysis, forensics. Great. There so, are multiple. so it seems like Arun has worked in multiple profiles, and not only is as a SOC analyst or something, he has a very broad uh, experience base. No? Great. So, uh, Arun, let's start. Uh, let's go over to the point. The first question that I would like to ask you is: Let's say if there is a fresher who has just passed, um, let's say his or her uh, graduation, no? and wants to get into cyber security. So what are your thoughts upon it? How can a fresher get into cyber security? Yes, you know, as a, as a fresher, if you think, you know, if you are, uh, if you just want to start your career in uh, cyber security as a fresher, there is a general, uh, um, I would say in the roadmap for everybody, um, you should, you know, keep, you know, all these uh, four or five uh, generic, you know, the terms. The first thing is, you know, you should have uh, the, whatever, you know, the basic, are the fundamental or the domain knowledge about uh, IT and cyber security is must. And the second thing you should um, complete, you should you know take some, uh, um, you should you know upskill yourself in uh, in cyber security by um, by taking some online courses or maybe in class uh, in a classroom uh, sessions or maybe referring or maybe from you know the people like um, the senior guys like you know the Siddharth <laughs> and me who are who are working in in this you know in the cyber security domain yeah so you just need to just you know you should be focused more on the learning part that is the second thing and you may the the, the third is the certification you may you may acquire you may take uh, or you may uh, go to any um, certifications entry level certifications or maybe the intermediate level certifications certificates it, it authenticate your profile you know the best way of learning is uh, um, enrolling any uh, online or in a classroom training sessions because training training sessions because that that gives you a organized way of learning instead of you know the learning uh, bits and pieces from here and there it is you may you may mess up with um, you may end up with a lot of you know the confusions or anything so it is better to start with a training. Uh, by the way, friends, uh, I would like to point out here that Arun has a, his own website. Uh, this is the website that is uh, the SEC master. And if you scroll through this website, you will find a lot of blogs. Yesterday, I just saw this website and I was fully impressed. I mean, there's a tons and tons of information and Arun keeps updating it very often. So friends, I strongly recommend, please have a look at this website and frequently check it because you'll find a, a huge amount of information and Arun is already working upon it. He's trying to make it more and more streamlined so that you will find the topics of your interest very easily. Great. So Arun, the next question is, uh, we just talked about freshers, how they can uh, step into cybersecurity. The second question is, what about the uh, professionals? Now, in professionals, there are two categories. One are IT professionals and one are non-IT non professionals. professionals. So let's talk about IT professionals. If I, Let's say if a DevOps, a DevOps uh, engineer or software engineer wants to switch over to IT security and has some, let's say, five to 10 years of work experience, what should be the pathway? It, it's much easier for IT professionals to switch uh, over to the cyber security profiles. That's because, you know, they, they already, they have uh, been working in IT. Uh, they know how the IT works, 
how uh, the the IT enterprise are you know the companies are structured internally. I recommend uh, uh, to gain you know to learn more on this you know the computational network and uh, uh, the storage uh, technologies because you know what we in fact you know because what we are um, providing you know this what is cyber security. Uh, cyber security is not something limited to any technology or any programming language or any infrastructure or any operating system. So it is basically it needs um, the knowledge on on most of this computational network and storage and other you know the underneath uh, technology. So start you know learning on that and then uh, start you know the learning the basics of um, the computer se computer security like you know the the cyber security, the network security, endpoints. So all these things. So to go to that and to learn that again, you can uh, you can you can reach out to any like you know the the professionals who are working in in that you know the domain, or else um, you can start um, learning any enroll yourself to any the learning courses. Okay, so Arun, um, as you yesterday talked about that, uh, first of all, uh, IT professional should figure out in which area he or she has interest. Because friends, what happens? Cyber security is kind of a universe, and there are hundreds of profiles. I believe, if I am not wrong, yeah, there are multiple no? verticals, multiple yeah. streams. So first of all, uh, if you are an IT professional and have uh, some five to ten years of work experience, you have to first figure out which part of cyber security uh, interests you the most. So it could be like network security, for example. It could be like uh, endpoint security. It could be there are hundreds of yeah, such there profiles. Are, you know, IAM, identity access management, Correct. vulnerability management, penetration testing. So friends, um, like Arun rightly said, ki first of all, you have to find out which profiles uh, interest you the most. Just have a look. Just Google through internet ki kaun -kaun se profiles which are which are mm -hmm. the profiles are uh, in cyber security, and then start focus learning on them. Learning yeah? on that, okay. okay. The third question, Arun, is um, if uh, a, a non-IT professional, let's say an HR or maybe somebody in finance has some 10 years of work experience wants to jump into IT security, cyber security. What should be your advice for those guys? For those again uh, as a learning part, it is you know better to enroll uh, some you know the basic certifications like um, the Com CompTIA uh, A plus or CompTIA Network plus or CompTIA Security plus. These are the best uh, best uh, certifications, best trainings under to undergo uh, for non it people since you know they these these training courses these courses uh, cover uh, most likely from the basics from uh, from what is you know the com from computer the internal part of the computer and they do the network type of different type of you know the network wired wireless everything from basics basics to uh, to at least you know the, the intermediate uh, uh, cyber security concepts like uh, what is you know what is a virus what what are the different types of malwares and uh, what are uh, what is security auditing so arun the fourth question is which is very uh, commonly asked by many people is let's say if a candidate maybe complete fresher 12th pass or maybe a graduate holder if a candidate wants to switch over to cyber security or make career in cyber security should the candidate opt for a cyber security related graduation or cyber security related post graduation or any uh, technical graduation or post graduation will be okay so my here my opinion is uh, is you know no need to go for you know no need to have any um, uh, the pg or you know the graduation or you know the post graduation in cyber in cyber security to get into it any 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 generic you know the gradu uh, graduation or post graduation would also work but the important thing is you know the domain knowledge or the basic knowledge whatever you know what what we discussed so far that is required mm, that's right yeah so friends um, because many p candidates or many students who wants to make career in germany they keep asking ki i have a list of these colleges who offer cyber security post graduation so which college should i opt for no? So please make it sure, friends. From our side, this is our view that uh, if you were want, if you want to make career in cyber security, you can do graduation or post graduation in any field, and then also switch over to cyber security. Now, question number five. So, Arun, uh, uh, talk, please tell me by your experience: is coding skills, I mean that programming and coding. Is that mandatory to make a successful career in uh, cyber security? It is. It is not. You know, nothing is mandatory. The coding is Great. not at all mandatory. But Great. if you if you know coding, you can achieve a lot. 
Uh -huh. So this is this is how you know, like you know, basically you should know the uh, there are you know the generic any any coding. Uh, even again, if you even if you talk uh, more about a little bit about you know the coding, there is nothing like you know you you should know C language or the Go language or the Python or uh, the Bash. No, there is nothing like that. You you it is good to have you know any any programming uh, language the knowledge. That's great. Uh, so once again. In starting, as we discussed, uh, that there are hundreds of profiles in cybersecurity, and I don't think I mean only the a few handful of profiles do require cybersecurity coding. Otherwise, most are we, you can I mean I have never coded anything except for making that uh, uh, print um, welcome world, uh, no? welcome to this world uh, example. I mean that Python coding is all that I have done till date. Otherwise, I'm not a coder. And I, again, again here I would I would also like to uh, you know. Uh, Highlight uh, a point here is uh, again in you know as I said uh, cyber security has you know the multiple multiple streams multiple verticals. There are few verticals like you know DevSecOps where mm. uh, uh, where you know the static code review, dynamic code review, and the malware analysis, and uh, you know the reverse engineering. If you are going into these areas, then coding is must. Ah, that's right, correct. These are actually very core technical profiles in cyber security. You can always opt for some other profiles if you are not very good at coding. Yes. Um, now, uh, Arun, question number six, and uh, we, we we would like to know: Are there any free resources also to study cybersecurity? Well, it is you know as a as a beginner, since you know this is a social media era now, yeah. it is better to start you know the social media. You can enroll. Uh, there are there are there are hundreds of a uh, uh, good you know the groups in the Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, you know, which uh, which which specifically talks about you know the cyber security. So just you know uh, get you know become a member of those groups and and start you know following up those groups. That that would give a lot of knowledge. That's right. That's right. So and other 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 things you know you can uh, anyways you can get enrolled to any courses or yeah. maybe any any go to YouTube. You can learn. There are a lot of plenty of resources on YouTube. Yeah. Resources and not to forget Arun's website. The SecMaster, it has hundreds of profiles as a hundreds of uh, topics. And I was literally spellbound when I saw his website. I and mean, it's full of information. Please have a look at that website and um, you'll certainly find a lot of info there. So Arun, uh, now question number seven and question number eight, which are kind of combined. The question is, uh, Arun, uh, are certifications uh, really helpful in making career in cybersecurity, number one? And if you think yes, then which certifications would you advise for the starters? We are talking about the starters only. Yes, actually, to answer you know about this, you know the certifications. So again, uh, I would say that you know the certifications are not uh, not a mandatory thing. But if you have the certificate certificates, so it carries a lot of you know the weightage to your profile because you know it is a. It give you uh, the the authenticity of to your profile. So, so yes, I would uh, I would prefer uh, to have you know the certificates. In fact, you know these days most of the corporates also they 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 wanted to complete uh, uh, certificates. And so, which certifications would you like to um, recommend to starters only? Yeah, uh, if if I talk about you know the the entry level, the starters, the yeah. beginners. Uh, the Compt uh, TA certificates, CompTIA certificates. CompTIA you can, uh, certificates. You can go for you know the CompTIA Security Plus is the uh, is the one of uh, the um, one of the certificate to start. Okay. And and otherwise you know if you have knowledge on uh, uh, if you want to get into the uh, ethical hacking or uh, the penetration testing things, then you can go for CH Certified Ethical Hacker. Certified Ethical Hacker. Well, once again, friends, none of these guys have ever paid us uh, for their uh, certifications. So it's completely a neutral advice. Question number nine is how to find a successful job in uh, cybersecurity? Uh, go to any any job portals or, you know, the job, uh, you know, database like, you know, the LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Indeed or anything, you know, your favorite uh, job portals and try to find out what type of, you know, the jobs uh, are there uh, open in your location. And uh, try to uh, try to find out, you know, um, the skills. What type of you know the employers are uh, hiring, and what type uh, and on what type of skills they they look for hiring. Just you know, just make a note of you know, start mm. making a note of all these things, and uh, just you know, uh, once you know noted down all those things, just start you know prepare a, a proper you know a two to three page 
CV, a resume, and uh, start you know upskilling, uh, targeting those you know the skills and apply for the jobs. That's right. There is no there is no shortcut here, guys. Here in mm. this. They, it it, uh, it requires a lot of effort and the time. Yeah, that's so friends, one advice from my side, as I always give to uh, my my uh, friends also, that as I as we Arun also said, there are hundreds of profiles in cyber security. So you should pick up at least two profiles out of these hundreds of profiles and try to learn as much as possible. Go into the depth of those profiles. Profiles could be anything, any uh, topics in cyber security, and. Be a master of those two profiles at least. Of course, you will be having information about the world as well. I mean, the other profiles as well. But be a master in at least two profiles. And um, then during your job interviews, you can always tell the job interviewer that, guy, I am the I am a master in these two profiles. If you have any opportunity, I'll, I'll be the, I'm the best candidate for this job. That way, you can strongly project your profile. And I'm sure that you'll get through. Uh, when the interviewer sees your confidence in these two profiles at least. Correct. No? Yeah. That's great. So, yes, again, you know, talking about uh, the certificates, here again, I would like to add another, you know, the point here. Just, you know, um, uh, pay just more uh, um, attention towards, you know, the vendor neutral certificates. It is not like, you know, you should, you know, go for any, uh, the certificate, the vendor specific certificates like, you know, the Splunk or maybe any other, you know, the tools. It is, uh, uh, it is not, you know, the recommended way to start, in my opinion. Well, yeah. you can go for any, like, you know, the Microsoft or, you know, the cloud certificates, that is well and good. But uh, just, you know, avoid the applications. That's right. So, friends, for example, for firewalls also, you'll find uh, lots of certification from uh, Fortinet, from Palo Alto. And every uh, company, every product owner has their levels of certifications also, right? Correct. So, instead of going for such vendor specific certifications, we would suggest you go for vendor neutral, uh, let us say some network security uh, certification will be better than going for a very firewall specific certification, right? So, Arun, question number 10 and that is the last question of the today's interaction round. The question is, uh, by your experience, tell us that are these cyber security jobs stressful? Ah, yeah. is, they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. I would like to say here, this is more responsible. <laughs> ah, you need to take responsibility. Yes, because you That's know, right. every, uh, if you are man, if you are uh, a part of a cyber security team of your organization, yeah, then you should be managing, you know, the whole, you know, data of your employees, your uh, the database, or That's you right. know, your applications. The whole, your, you know, the company's data is uh, in your hands. That's right. So it is more responsible. That's right. <laughs> correct. Correct. Maybe some sometimes it it could also be. Uh, uh, say that you know it is a stressful in in some cases whenever there is an incident occurs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> then it is like fire in the forest. Then yes, nah? because you know incident never never come with uh, prior intimation. Yes, prior intimation. That's right. Correct. So Correct. it can happen anytime, even in the midnight, mid day, any any time. That's right. So you should be always you know ready for incidents. That's right. Correct. So well, friends, um, so responsibility comes with stress, of course. So, you have to be prepared for such circumstances, but again, it is not everyday uh, thing that happens. I mean, yes, it yes. happens once in blue blue moon. So, do not be afraid of this stress thing. There, well, stress is everywhere. In every job, you will find stress. Now, there is always, uh, you know, such things. So, thank you, Arun. Thank you so much. Now, you shared your <laughs> experience with us and with all those uh, future candidates. Okay. Thank you, Siddharth, for... Uh for hosting this you know the informative session that's great that's great thank you so much okay. and guys if you have any doubts comments questions etc please feel free to post them on youtube comments arun is always there by my side as well as by your side and uh, he'll be more than happy to answer your uh, yes, questions na? anytime thank you so much arun thank you bye bye